Hello, Douglas here. Welcome to Gems, where I subtly encourage you to try an album you may not have thought of listening to because it could change your fucking life. Uh, today we're going to do Meshuga's Destroy, Erase, Improve, which I feel is their gateway uh, album. And if you don't like Meshuga or you're turned off by them, this is probably your best starting point. Yeah, because when I first heard this, it blew my fucking mind. All right, first song. This is Future Breed Machine. First off, I bought this album on the strength of another song. I heard this and immediately went. This was like 96, maybe. Immediately went. Wow, I have, an, I have a new favorite band. Not that you need to have one, but I do, because I'm weird. But um, yeah, I heard this and I was just like, yep. Yeah. And then I showed them to everybody, as many people as I could in the San Jose music scene. I would like, I remember once I went to a strip club and brought like five or six dudes back to the car just to listen to the first song, instead of looking at titties. <laughs> This next beat, ugh, I could I, I could probably go riff by riff, but I'm gonna try to condense. But there's just so many ugh, incredible moments on this album. Each song has a part that's just it's a gut puncher. I, I don't know how else to describe it. So this next riff is just fucking the business. <laughs> Now, okay, I have to stop it here. This next drum thing, I'm always interested in the drums, you know. And um, uh, my, I have a drummer buddy, uh, Glenn Sobel, who plays in Alice Cooper right now. He's a drummer for Alice Cooper. And um, I, I emailed him at the time and I'm like, dude, what is he doing here? And Glenn broke it down into words. And it still went up. Like, I, after I heard the answer, I was still like, Fuck, you know, that didn't help. But, um, A, I want to thank Glenn for doing that for me. B, I want to thank Mashuga for writing a part that's so jacked up. You should listen to it, and if you're a drummer, maybe you can explain it to me, because uh, from what I'm hearing, it's it's like a straightforward drum beat, I guess. And I guess he's just accenting different things with the cymbals in a way that kind of makes, like, it's skipping. Am I being weird here? Am I being an idiot? Isn't that just da 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 and it's the look, I don't know. If you're a drummer and you can explain this to me because it I find it like I almost want to loop that little part and stretch it for an hour, because I could easily listen to it for an hour, just straight, straight. Wow, I'm so taken aback by that. Anyways, let's, let's move on, shall we? So, this song is about, I don't know, what, five minutes? It's jam-packed full of stuff. This is their, this is their, <laughs> this is the, this is the song. This is, like if you, if you can't get into this song, then you're probably not, not gonna like any of the other stuff. Now this is the chorus. And let me tell you, I am a sucker for gang vocals. Um, another band to listen to for gang vocals is uh, Violence, especially Pressing the Masses. Uh, we'll get into that later. These guys, I love it because it's nice, tight, loud, and there's no glitz on the vocals at all. It's just, there's no delay, there's no reverb. It's smashing right into your face, and it's wonderful. I wish they had done this more. I 
could seriously just do an hour on this song. We're gonna go right to the solo. Uh, and if you like Holdsworth, this is, this dude's, you know, to say extremely Holdsworth influenced is probably an understatement. Has anybody done a, uh, like a video lesson for this solo on YouTube? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, it's not extremely fast, but you know, whatever. I love Splash. show you one of the last riffs which is I think something in the beginning but it's just fuck man they just they're so good To open with that, fuck, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those albums you, you need to crank. Like, get it to where your speakers are farting and just bring it back a little bit. We're gonna have to go to the next song. This is Beneath. This is probably my favorite song on the album, and I've looked on YouTube for them playing it live. Ooh, I don't know why this track would be so elusive, but oh, I'll just play you a bit. Sure, bass players hate that bass tone. I, I love it. Does anybody know how to play that riff? Are there bins in there, or is that just, you know, fretted notes? Because I think it was like, but I could be wrong. Beautiful riff. I love it. I love. I, dr I love drummers who use fucking China as the timekeeper. Ah. Look, so many good fucking riffs in this song. Fucking hell. I'll get you to the, the one that I, I like to... That middle thing, it's almost African. I don't know, it's just... What the fuck is going on? Man, oh my god.
I love it, man. What was the album before this? Um, None, the EP. I think that's when they moved over to Seven Strings. And, uh, oh my god, I used to play Gods of Rapture into the ground. I used to just have it on repeat, because that intro, <laughs> fucking hell, man, but... I love this album so much. We gotta get through it. This is Soul Burn. This is another one, fuck. This is Drummer Appreciation Day right here. I love Ghost Notes. Oh my god. That's why I love Vinnie Call You to so much. Fuck. And Thomas. And and that'll do. I mean, there's so many do there's so many. It's a really good time to be alive in heavy music because there are so many good fucking musicians and they're all on they're all on YouTube and you can watch them doing shit. Cause this for me was uh, a little bit it wasn't pre-internet, but I was slowly getting, I had a Hotmail account and that's all I had and yeah. Great song. We're gonna go on the next one. Transfiction, they did a video for, they weren't happy with it because it costed like 20 grand. Apparently, I don't know, I read this on the net, so it could be wrong. Uh, this is a great song too. So many good riffs. I kind of want to show you the solo section. We'll see. Obviously, this is not the solo section. So fucking rad. You know, I know that Korn get the big props for using seven strings, but uh, in my in my humble opinion, um, I think Meshuga did it a hundred fucking million times better. And don't think I hate Korn because I do not. I've had I had a couple of their albums when I was a youngin. And uh, every now and then I get a big old playlist happening at work and I listen to Korn for about four hours, so. Can somebody help me? I think Jonathan Davis has got a pretty cool voice. Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, you know what's cool? Listen, uh, if you listen to the, the part that Frederick's playing, Frederick's the lead guitar player, it's just chromatic -y stuff. It sounds like, to me, it conjures up the image of wind, because it's na 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 na. I love it. Let's go to the fucking, and I'll tell you why I like the, um, the solo section so much. There's a cymbal pinch, like a cymbal grab, cymbal pinch, cymbal clutch, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right in the middle of it. Dun dun dun. Oh, look, I'll go there. Oh. Oops. 
think the solo section was on Traces of Death, and they were playing it at the Cactus Club in San Jose, California. They played the solo section, and then I... Fuck, I had to buy the Traces of Death soundtrack CD to find... I had to go through all the bands, listen to them all, till I found the band that had uh, that solo section. Went, bought Destroy, Race, Improve, heard Future Breed Machine, and then my mind just fucking popped. This is called Vanished. Good song. So fucking good. My only complaint is that I think the solos could have been a little bit louder, but I mean, still, it's a fucking masterpiece. Oh, I'll show you this one rhythm that is fucking, I mean, they're all great, but some really fucking stand out. So fucking rad. I want to jump on YouTube now and see if they've done this live. Fuck, so good. This is Acrid Placidity. I think it's, um, yeah. It's Frederick Thordendahl's little, I don't know, it's a little short song. It's just a guitar instrumentally business. God, such good, good sounding cleans, good lead tone. Really good. Yeah, there's Lydian. Fucking awesome, these dudes. Inside, what's within, behind. That's almost a Cock Two Twins uh, song title. So inspiring. This is fuck. Now this is one of my favorite songs. I don't know why, but it's still fucking awesome. So don't let me turn you off to this particular song. I'm not a fan. I don't think I'm a fan of that beat very much. Uh, 
I'd love, oh fuck, I'd love to know how they went about writing this shit. If they ever have video of this era, they gotta make some sort of a fucking documentary of the making of Destroy, Race, and Prove. That would be fucking amazing. <laughs> And suffering truth. This is more of a. This is kind of one of their straightforward songs, really, um, but still bad as fuck. And toward the end, it gets, you know. But this is. <laughs> this is their most rocking song. Isn't the muted power chord just bad as fuck? Ugh, I love it. Oh, so badass. Uh, next song, Sub Levels. This one's good. Dude, even the intro just by itself is the shit. is me not having a noise gate and having to fucking do the, the guitar volume. The clean volume swells, that's so fucking cool. And another reason why I like Meshuga is that they understand that there are two guitar players when the lead goes to the solo uh, they press a button, I don't know if it's Martin or Frederick, and um, Frederick's, or Martin's, instead of being on one side, the speakers go to both sides or something. I don't know. Uh, as soon as I read that they do that, I was like, these motherfuckers are just, they're just, oh man, the Swedes, man, the fucking Swedes. You guys are the shit. And your women are hot. <laughs> Next riff is red. I also love this album because they did give uh, Thomas a bit of freedom. There's a lot of these types of moments where he's just able to fucking go off. Yeah, man, listen. First off, I know there's tons of people who love Meshuga, and rightly so, they are the fucking business. But if you've tried, like the other guitar player in Alarm, Scott, he just, not into him for whatever reason, but I always tell him, listen to Destroy, Erase, and Prove because that has it all. It is their back in black. That's probably their most accessible album. I'm not really into um, Contradictions Collapse. For me, it's kind of none, which I really, really love. I wish that was a full length, although I don't really care for Aztec Two-Step. Uh, uh, and I love uh, Destroy, Race, and Proof. I love Chaos, Fear. Uh, what was after that? Fuck. I do like Catch 33. A lot of people don't like that album. And then, um, you know, there's Ob's In, which I like. Um, let's want, like, now I start, I don't even know, like, I have the albums. I don't know, remember, know, remember the names of the albums, and I don't know the names of the songs. Oh, um, n uh, not None, Nothing. 
Uh, I really like uh, Straw Straws Pulled at Random. There's a lot of great songs on that. That's when they started, what, using eights? Or they did it in seven tuned to eight, and then they went back and redid them in eights. Stay with me. I will always love Meshuga, but I think it, I've backed off of them just a little bit. But, uh, oh, they definitely have a place in my heart, and when I write music, I definitely try really hard not to want to write those types of riffs because <laughs> tons of bands have done it. So I'm trying to not do it. But man, what an impact they've made. They are fucking incredible. They've done it right, fuck. So listen to the album Destroy, Race, Improve. If you can get into that, try Chaos Fear, and then just, I don't know, move it around, but, uh, that leaves me speechless, this album. I fucking, I, I feel like listening to the whole thing right now, but I got more videos to make, so anyways, thank you for watching. This one went a bit long, and um, seeing that my father-in-law has good internet, and I can upload these things in like, mere minutes yeah they're gonna st my videos are now gonna start getting longer because uh the internet in australia is fucking fourth world and it's fucking shit house so there you go american internet speeds are fucking beautiful so what, what can i say i don't know fucking there's some dipshits out here running the joint all right love you bye